Google Scholar has an awesome new AI upgrade and I think you'll love it. So if we head over to Google Scholar, look, this is the old page, but there's something new about it. Have you noticed, children? It's here, labs, here, labs. They've made it very obvious. There's like three places where it's like, try labs, you bloody idiot. Anyway, so Google Scholar now has this thing called labs, and I think you'll love it because if we click here, you can see it takes you to this page. Now, this is gonna look similar to a load of other chatbots you've used for academia and research. Here you can see, ask a detailed research question to find relevant papers. I bloody well will, don't you worry about that, Google Labs. And then down here, you've got ask scholar, and you've got some example questions. Now. What does it do and how is it different? Well, I asked it a question which I can't get back to because it doesn't bloody save your chats, which is the first issue, but that's right, we'll look over that because look, we'll have a look at something else. Has anyone used single, yeah, we'll try that one. You click it or you answer your question and this is what is produced. So let's ask it a little cheeky question, shall we? Okay, I've asked it this, what are the most efficient materials for OPV devices for indoor applications? And then I click go. And then we do a little bit of a wait, but it's going away, searching its database for that specific question. In the past, when we've received responses, we've then had to go and read the papers, read the abstract. Now it's delving into the papers and it's given us the reason it has suggested this paper. So here we are, this is the first one that pops up. Here you can see we've got this, and then this is what's different about it is, it gives you an AI summary that is directly related to the question that you ask, which I really like. So here we've got, organic photovoltaic cells, and then we've got this, two bullet points that allows you to skim the paper before you've even read it. So you can see here, this is 2020, high efficiency material system, 26.4, yes, great, materials requirement, scarcity, so that's brilliant. Now, it will go through and find all the papers that you need to know about, and then you can click more results if you want more results, it's as easy as that. Down here in your current session, you can see that you've got this sort of like, you know, history bar on the side, but I've never found it possible to go back to old conversations. Change that, Google, thanks very much. Um, but you get all of the same stuff that you had before. You can save stuff, you can cite it. This is the cite sort of like thing you can put in your, in your literature review. You can see who it's cited by, related articles, versions, and then also you can import into wherever you want it. If you go up here to settings, you can change a load of things. So you want search articles, case law, and then um, this one's the important one if you want to save this into a reference manager, save it into BibTech, RefMan, RefWorks, wherever it is, just click there and then that little button at the end. Okay, yeah, save that. See, look, this is what I mean. All right, well, okay, good. Yeah, I've saved it. Now I wanna go back to like the thing that I was just searching. So uh, let's go to labs. <laughs> Google, you can do better than this, surely. I, I wanna go back to the thing that I just was interested in. I, I don't know where it's gone, I cannot find it. Uh, it's great, it's just that really annoying little thing. People expect now with chatbots that you can go back to your old chat history, but you blooming well can't do it here. That's annoying, isn't it? Anyway, okay, let's ask the same question again. Can I spell fish? I'm dribbling. Oh. Okay, here we go, and we click again, and then hopefully we find the same results. And here you can see, look, they've got it set up that you could have the sessions here, but you blooming can't do it. Anyway, now we wait again for the same information, which is frustrating, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Look, you can see it's given us different results, but uh, that's okay, don't worry about it. So here, you get the same stuff again. You can import it into all of the um, reference managers that you want to import it into. And then after that, after it's given you all of the information, you can ask a follow-up question. So, um, what are... Okay, I wanna know what are the most recent papers since 2024, and then hopefully it will go away into its database and search for those papers. So the good thing is, is you've got an initial kind of result 
and then you can go deeper by asking it more questions. You can also start a new session, which uh, hopefully retains this, but it, I don't, I have, it doesn't give me any confidence that it actually will. And here we are, so this one, 2025, which is great. So you can now systematically search the literature through Google Scholar using the power of AI. Um, it's really great. I really like it. If they could just change this new session thing, look, uh, yeah, where did the other session go? If they can just save a session, it would already be awesome. It's free, it's Google, it's Google Scholar, where we all used to go before AI. And yeah, I think it is something that with a few little tweaks could be the place that everyone should go to to find information about any research field. And uh, yeah, this is their first sort of like little test of AI in Google Scholar. And uh, it's a good start, but uh, there's still tools that do it better than this. Subscribe to my channel if you want to know which ones those are. So Google Scholar's had an exciting upgrade. Let's uh, keep an eye on it, shall we? If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about the ultimate AI toolkit that every academic should be using. Go check it out.